if you remember not too long ago, Kanye West had made a very controversial statement towards black Americans that were in 400 years of slavery. And many people took offense of the statement that he made, which we'll review in a second. The reason that I bring this up is we're entering into a new era of slavery by governments. And for many people, it isn't, you know, marauder bands and barbarians at the gate, you know, slaughtering men and dragging women and dragging women and children away as captives and making them slaves. Those times have changed and it's primarily due to population growth where you don't have the resources to physically enslave people. In places like in China, they still can do it. You know, it'll get talked about, but for the most part, nothing gets done about it, right? With the Uyghurs, nothing really will get done by it. For the most part, what we have today is open debt slavery, financial slavery, which is where most people nowadays fall into, where they become indebted to the system of things. And so this system of things will, when it is on the verge of losing power and authority over its people, or when there is a crisis that needs to be averted, the powers that be will exert more authority over the masses for the purpose of enslaving them. And this was a good article talking about how the Swiss, 62% of the Swiss vote to keep the COVID vaccine passports. In a world where millions protest daily against the creeping tyranny of a big government, which is abusing the never-ending COVID uh, tragic comedy, it says to get so much bigger, it would make even George Orwell cringe. One country actually had an opportunity to put an end to the vaccine passports and totally blew it. Despite months of protest, Swiss citizens overwhelmingly voted to keep the country's system of COVID vaccination certificates in place. Not surprisingly, the deal was sweetened by the promise of financial assistance for voters. According to RT Sunday, just over 62% of voters chose to maintain the country's coronavirus measures which include a controversial system of COVID vaccination certificates required since September to enter bars, restaurants, theaters, and other public spaces. Majorities in 24 of the Switzerland's 26 cantons backed a law, which only the tiny cantons of the Swiss and the Appenzell Inner Holden rejecting the measures. And so you can see overwhelmingly people choose slavery now of course that slavery is the it comes in the guise of protection which is uh, we talked about in other videos where i believe it was benjamin franklin i forget off the top of my head where he had made the statement that those who willfully give up their freedom for would-be security will end up and deserve neither and of course the result is that people die. Now, the reason I, that I bring this up is in accordance with what Kanye West said back in 2018, where he said this. You hear about slavery for 400 years? For 400 years? That sounds like a choice. <laughs> like, you was there for 400 years and it's all of y'all? You know, like, it's like we're, we're mentally in prison. I like the word prison because slavery goes too, too direct to the uh, idea of blacks. It's like slavery, Holocaust, Holocaust Jews, uh, slavery is blacks. Now the backlash. And that is in conjunction with what the Bible says. The Bible acknowledges that to human beings, we require direction. We require the masses, in essence, require leadership. And the Bible acknowledges that in the book of Jeremiah. And Jeremiah uh, was a prophet, and he had in his own prayer in 1023, he said, O Jehovah, correct me. Excuse me. He says, I know, he says, O Jehovah, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. And so for religious people, especially for the Jewish people back in that time, 
instead of choosing their own direction, they acknowledge that they wanted to follow the, the direction of their God. And so Jeremiah asks, he says, Oh, Jehovah, correct me, but in measure, not in thy anger, lest thou bring me to nothing. So for many religious people or for many Christians or for many uh, people who are either Muslim or uh, Jewish people, they looked in essence to God for their direction. They recognize his authority in their life and they act in accordance to the best of their ability. And this is the nature of human. That's why you look throughout all societies that have existed. There has always been some form of worship where people look to to give them direction. In fact, even when the nation of Israel was pulled out of Egypt, right, from the, the years that they were enslaved there, it went on to state, excuse me, right here. It was around the state. It says, so they said to one another, let us appoint a leader and return to Egypt. Right. So when the the Israelites had lived in slavery for generations and then now they were being taken out they were no they were not were going to be living as slaves anymore and for many people who had grown up in the society the slavery in egypt was preferred to the freedom of the outside world right they didn't know what lied out there they were they, that generation was required to be revolutionaries right they needed to go out and to you know, basically, what do they say? Uh, you know, the, the frontiers, the whole new land, and spying out a new land and taking over areas and creating a civilization. That was very scary for many people. And so it's easier for them to choose the comfort, right, in quotes, of being, in essence, taken care of while being a slave in a foreign land than choosing to be free. And we see that exact same thing playing out. With many cultures, we see it playing out here in America where people will willfully inject themselves. And, and there, there was literally this black lady on TV um, back when Cuomo was in office. She's like, I'm not asking what's in the infusion. I'm not questioning what's in the infusion. I'm just rolling up my sleeve and I'm taking it. And this is the sort of preferred slavery where people will willfully choose to become slaves to the system of things rather than to venture off and to break the mental chains that bind many of these people. And even today, you know, when it comes to the monetary system, the Bible acknowledges this is the rich rule over the poor and the borrower is a slave to the lender. And this is why I say every American is a slave. In fact, everyone who is connected to a fiat currency, to this entire system of things, is in, is in essence a slave. Because all they do is continue to borrow more. And we see this in America, where they're constantly borrowing and expanding the debt and raising the debt ceiling. Why? It's for the purpose of keeping you financially enslaved. And so when the government borrows money, right, from central banks, they borrow it in your name. And so in essence, the biblical principle holds true that we as a people become slaves to the lender and of course the government lend borrows in our name and then those people hold sway over the economy and so some people of course chose to become offended by what kanye west said but the reality is is we are literally living in a time period where people are choosing slavery they would rather be slaves to the disease, slaves to the system that these governments are putting over them. And they'll sacrifice their children just like they did back in the days, right? They made their children pass through the fires. And if some kids die as a result of taking the ejection, that is just the price of slavery. That is just the price that we unfortunately have to pay. And people prefer to live this way. They, they would rather know that the government is there to take care of them than to go off and have to take responsibility for their own lives we see it with even in the healthcare system is people that refuse to lose weight they refuse to change their diet they refuse to quit smoking they refuse to stop over drinking right these are all things that they, they these are one of the chief reasons why so many people come into the hospital and the government doesn't require them 
to make any dietary changes. You can live your life however the hell you want, and society will take care of you. And it's, this is what the system of things does. It continues the the concept. It continues the, the, the system of slavery that exists within the globe. And that is why, you know, the Bible had said that if, if the Son of Man sets you free, then you really are free. That's kind of the basis of what America stood for, at least back in a day to some extent. To some extent, at least it did. When you read all God created all men equal, you have these unalienable rights, right? That they recognize that there was a creator, and as a result, the creator endowed you with these rights that you have. And of course, in our time period, a lot of that has gone. A lot of the concept of freedoms that we that we held, that were given to us. And that's why the Bible says that God had set you free. Do not once again come under the yoke of slavery. And unfortunately, this is where we are and where we have been for quite some time. We're just falling deeper into slavery. It's so it's so open and it's so in your face that people are just accustomed to it. That's why you don't see the protests in America, right? They're just like either you take it or you get fired. Either you take it or you can't feed your family. And people are just like, you know, kind of squirm in their chair. But for the most part, the slaves will comply. And it, of course it's difficult when you <clears throat> when you understand that this has been going on for so long. And of course, when you want, you know, when I walk around and I see all these little kids in in mask walking around and it's like if you understand the narrative, if you understand that it's all theater, it does bother you to some it does bother you to some extent. It's just literally like they say, right? Ignorance is bliss. You'd rather be one of the sheeple that are just completely blind and like, yeah, this is OK. This is normal. And you'll just give up more of your freedom. But if you're even remotely awake. It becomes a difficult existence to to exist in, to be surrounded by people that are just sheep and prefer slavery. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Feel free to leave your opinions below. And I'll check you out next time. Thanks.